Hi and welcome back to our GCP Mindset channel and all topics on clinical research. Today we'll talk again about preparing the monitoring visits. More after the break. First some things about monitoring visits you have to keep in mind. In general, you should try to maintain regular contact between the visits. As CRAs, show proactively interest in the trial site. Ask about problems that you may be able to help solve or requests for improvement from the site. Also keep the trail site informed with interesting information, such as the general recruitment status, whether the timelines can be kept, the results of the interim analysis and others. It motivates the sites if one takes interest in them, but you should also be careful. If you notice that your frequent contacts are getting too much for the study staff, you can reduce it a bit. Some trial sites are so busy that any additional contact is perceived as disturbing. Make sure that you clearly differentiate yourself from the sponsor's marketing staff when communicating with the investigators. Do not advertise the product. A monitor must work independently of the product. You are welcome to praise the interesting study and offer your help, but the doctor should not get the feeling that you are trying to sell him something, because this behavior would remind him of the pharmaceutical representatives, who do not have the best reputation with most doctors, and therefore have to tolerate long waiting times in the waiting rooms. Let us now come to the practical points of a monitoring visit. And often in life, a good preparation is essential. If you're well prepared, your work at the trial site will be much easier, you will be faster, you will be able to keep timelines better, and therefore you will not be as stressed as poorly organized monitors. However, follow-up work is also important. Work through your action points in a timely and structured manner so that you do not have to think about what else you need to do after one to two months. Check again if something has changed since your last visit that you need to consider. If you do not see the monitoring visit as a single event, but rather the monitoring as several dynamic cycles consisting of preparation, implementation, and follow-up, you will find your work easier. If, after each monitoring visit, you put the site aside without doing your own homework and without continuing to do the homework of the project management and the trial site, you may have a time problem later. Often you have a lot of things to do. Create a to-do list from which you work through the points one by one. Try to be disciplined and do those things first that you don't like to do. As with site initiation visits, you should confirm a monitoring visit in writing, possibly after you have arranged it by phone or during the last monitoring visit. You should define in writing which relevant persons from the trial site should be present based on the outstanding action points. During monitoring, the investigator may not always be present, but this should not be the case for every visit. The investigator must ensure active participation in the trial, and this is not possible if the monitor never sees this person. Write a cover letter with a short overview of the upcoming visit with information about it. What should be done during the visit? When is the investigator needed? And what exactly should be prepared by the investigator? In some cases, you must also order the medical records in advance so that the test personnel can obtain them in advance and not only when you are already at the trial site. And once again, good preparation saves time at the site, not just yours, but also that of the study staff. During our investigator training sessions, we often listen to complaints about poorly organized monitors at the trial site. Therefore, we know how much the sites appreciate when a monitor supports the study staff through a good overview and structured work, rather than making a trial more complicated than it already is. Don't start your day at the site with the question, what's on the agenda today? Dictate the agenda yourself. Nothing is worse than a monitor that has no overview of its trial sites. If you know that you are a forgetful person, Check the site-specific details beforehand, such as how many patients were included or whether there was a change of study staff. Reread your last monitoring report or the SIV report if this is your first monitoring visit. 
If you are not yet familiar with the study, read the most important points in the protocol and CRF again. Train journeys are a good way to review the most important study-related facts. When a CRA works on the train, financial resources can be saved because productivity is increased by performing two study tasks simultaneously. You travel to the site and at the same time prepare yourself. The same also applies to the return trip and reporting of the monitoring visit. For travels involving round trip, however, this advantage is only available if there are adequate rail travel options. Create an agenda. Be careful not to copy information from another site into the cover letter and agenda to avoid copy-paste errors. First, you will have a privacy issue and second, you will confuse the site you are going to visit. Make a concrete list with all important matters to be addressed, documents to be collected, products to be checked, such as study medication, pregnancy tests, and laboratory kits. Stay flexible at the site, as something can always come up. As mentioned in the previous chapter, you should create a folder for each trial site for which you are responsible. In this folder, you will place the agenda, printed correspondence, documents that you want to file in the investigator's folder, such as a study newsletter, a new investigator's brochure, or other documents that are regularly sent to the site but are not usually filed independently. Always take your own office materials with you, such as hole punchers, staplers, paper clips, plastic wrap, writing utensils, post-its, or whatever else you need. In addition to the individual folders for the sites, you should also have a general folder for the study with the current protocol, the investigator's brochure, the monitoring plan, the CRF completion guidelines, for paper CRF, studies the AE forms, CV templates, and all other important documents. So much about preparing the monitoring visits today. We hope that we could give you some interesting information and look forward to see you next time. Goodbye.